Hello. Welcome back to Vestera again. Oh, hold on. Windows not fucking capturing again. There we go. So, we left off around here. And we are now with the blue guy. So, apparently I still don't know how to balance audio until now, because turning my own desktop volume doesn't turn down the volume for you, so it's still really loud in the videos, but that should be changed now. I hope. Uh. Yeah. Okay, just had to go for a bit. Okay. Enter name. Let's go. Just turn my volume down as well. Look at the good boy. Look at the good boy. <laughs> Your name is Laven Faroo. <coughs> you were born with a rare and quite severe lung condition due to a mishap in your reduplication process. Your lungs are a few sizes too small, which makes it hard for you to string long sentences together or partake in any sort of intense physical activity. Actual lack of breath is a very serious issue to you. Well, this stops you from giving those ventures a shot regardless. In fact, you spend the majority of your time hunting big game with your trusty custodian, Mutt. You like to think of yourself as quite a sharpshooter when it comes to, down to it, if not in terms of raw gun to, gun toting skills, and at least in total positive net worth of your firing attempts. Which is to say, you've had a number of horrible accidents involving your rifle and stray bullets. One of those incidents ended up changing your life for the better, significantly so, considering it led to you meeting a very special someone, and you've been far happier for it. Also, her preferred method of framing the situation goes. Oh. You also enjoy performing taxidermy on the animals you take home, turning them into statues, trophies, and assorted knickknacks which you then sell online for a living. You're not sure why anyone is interested in buying the stuff you make, it's all just for fun. But hey, you're not going to say no to financial compensation, especially when you're always running out of glue. Oh, and you're pretty avidly into not tying, you guess. This is a fun pastime. You're terribly bad at it and just end up leaving a majority of the tangles you made leaving you make lying in the corner over there. I can't tie knots. <laughs> Other than that, you enjoy gaming with your friends. You're personally more into the classic titles than any of the, of the fancy new releases that have been consistently pumped out in recent sweeps. Clearly old school, but a notion of virtual simulation warping reality around you kind of freaks you out a little. As such, even though you did rank at the top of the leaderboards in a game of this, na of this nature with an old friend, aging Anthropomor Municipality remains a big guilty pleasure of yours to this day. The message it tries to hammer into everyone's skulls doesn't really stick to the landing when it's coupled with a polygonal mess of multicolored, vaguely loose like players player avatars glitching all over the place. That's exactly why you love it so much. The ham-fisted, poor presentation has a certain lo-fi charm to it, you think. Uh, your troll tag is Woodless Artificer, and you speak in a measured way that lets you breathe what is needed. <laughs> what will you do? Laven, retrieve green sun. Actually, no, Laven. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! It's not on you! You must have not- you must not be able to, be able to take it back with you when you left static. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. It's just sitting on top of your desk. I was the one who put it there for safekeeping, by the way. Just in case any anticlimactic shenanigans saw fit to take place. Like, say, your canine loser developing a gustatory interest in a piece of universe-encompassing jewellery. <laughs> we simply cannot have him hypothetically cracking said jewellery with his tiny bark with teeth. That would have to lead to the entirety of your physical reality being consumed in a hellish torrent of bellowing green flame. Well, that was just an absolute letdown. I guess I was able to get that joke out of my system after all. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, white noise. No. In any case, you are free to hold on to this pendant now that the imminent danger has passed. You have to follow your original plan and just keep it around your neck, nice and cosy. As you're gearing up to safety, sa safely tuck it inside your shirt, you notice a single unchecked message from that special someone you mentioned before. Leave it, examine computer. <laughs> Corpses, everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Sparing a brief, brief but fond glance at an old memory, lovingly caught on camera by a friend, you open up your score client. It is with some difficulty that you avoid the lure of another gag-filled round of Anthropomor Municipality. But seems the King Murray Dino gadget is a little busy right now. That thing's no f this thing's no fun with without company anyway. Your score theme is called Buster Blues. It is the exact copy of Systematic Shock theme, and it makes the whole interface a nice calming shade of blue, including the notifications at the beginning of the end of every lo lo conversations log. Oh, that's why that- okay, so that's why that happens. Close with the best theme there is, in your humble opinion. Okay, so... I'm just trying to adjust the uh, music volume. You can't see it. But, but it's there. I'll just keep it down there. Laven, answer special someone. 
Look at that air to air smile. Pliable Decadence has began troll began trolling Gwynla's Artificer. Um, oh no. You know I'm not good with uh, high-pitched girl voices. Is, that's how I imagine some of these characters sounding. <laughs> I just have to let you do my Orica voice again. Hi! Hey, Waven! That's me. I know! Hey, listen! No, you listen. Wait, what? No. Oh, I didn't actually have anything to say. I just want to keep up with the listen gag. What's up? Well, I got UK's memo about this big game thing that we're all supposed to do as a group, right? But I don't really get it. I mean, I'm a big fan of wacky plans and assorted shenanigans, as you know. And by God, does this guy ever know how to get a wacky with the best of them? I think this might be a little too complex to wrap my simple cranial thing around, though. Which is really saying something, because I kind of understand what he's saying most, most some of the time. Probably. The point is that I know you're a bit more buddy-buddy than I am with Mr. Technodrome. So you have any actual readable information you can bestow upon me? To give you a briefing, too? Yeah, I talked to him a while ago. Pretty sure he at least shot me that memo in everyone's direction. Shot that memo in everyone's direction. Well, except hers. For whatever dumb reason he managed to come up with. Hmm. Oh, this track. As far as, like, an in-depth lowdown of why and what exactly we need to be doing, I'm not really sure myself. There's been something that he's chipped away over at the sweeps. I love this track. Everything on this album is pretty great, actually. But you know you already know. So this is kind of important, I guess. Yeah, but why? I don't know. It just is. Trust me. Should you tell me that we were blindly following the instructions of a greasy fishman without, one, any plan whatsoever, and two, a complete and total agreement with the entirety of a friend Riff Raff? I mean, yeah. Oh my god. Call me about 322 shades of skeptical. Haha, <laughs> funny number. Ah. Look. Oh my god. Also, hello. You're a funky looking girl. Oh, you're at least curious about it, right? It sounds pretty interesting and nothing else. It's just that usual type of game delivery method. I mean, yeah. Are you just saying that to mock me or do you actually mean it? A bit of both. Duh. That works. I just can't believe we had anybody sp we haven't had anybody speak up and said, no, I don't want to do this. That sounds dumb. Or if that didn't happen, they certainly hasn't, they haven't tried very hard to get their point across. I'm sorry, no, this is just all kind of happening. But it was really night when we decided to happen. I've heard things happening tonight specifically. We need to do a new thing happening tonight. New thing happening tonight. There's a motion for it right here, right now. This is everyone apparently just doesn't care. I'm assuming they all vote for it. Oh, for that. I'd be cool with things happening a bit more on a different night. Check it up a little. Sadly, I don't think we can change the universe's affinity for this one pattern. I go for a constant cycle of, like, nothing happening ever. And then suddenly, like, hard to think that happened on this night. Reasons unknown to us mortals. Other than nice, too. Sometimes, but mostly this one. So we came out of it, though, a few seasons ago. Woof. Are you making reference to what I think you're making reference to? There are other things that have occurred tonight, so I just want to be completely super duper sure that that's what the topic we're on here. I totally am. A good part of it, not a bad part. I mean, the part where you shot me in the leg, permanently leaving me in the limp forever? Yeah, that's the bad part. The part I didn't want you to talk about. Can you please not talk about it like that? But it's important to our history! How many people find true red romance over the course of a single night? I said it before and I'll say it again. That bullet was magic. No, the bullet was just a bullet. Trust me, I checked. I think that happened over the bullet was magic, though. After the bullet was magic, though. I mean, we were just all the things that they say are wrong with feelings and romance, huh? Did you know that? Oh, yeah, I sure do. Clearly gutted by the fact. How do we continuously insist on this slapdash whirlwind affair for two sweeps now? I question myself constantly. Oh, wow, same. Me too, dude. Usually after that happens, though, I see a little heart emote, and I feel better. <laughs> Damn, no, everything is okay, and I can tell you that I love you. Thanks. So you love me back, and also happy anniversary, you maggot wheeze. I won't be able to go worried about this game situation amicably if you don't do that much for me at the very least. If we just start getting cheesy with it, so we need to seal a deal. Come on, we'll play stick the landing. Okay. I love you. Happy anniversary. I'm very glad I'm stuck with you. The feeling is mutual. Now I'm going to go ahead and look for more info on the Sam Hell. What Sam Hell? All of nonsense even is. Don't probably forget I'm doing that and just say opt optimistically, optimistically anxious. So he tells me that the machinations of the chief executive TV set, TV set control freak are going to end up compromised by little old me. But promise me something. Yeah. Keep an eye out for Alpocalypse News, alright? I haven't managed to sing that dreadfully claws in around here, and around here yet, but I don't want. I don't put anything past his nasty wiles at this point. Whatever that is. Come on, mate.
Honestly, if you wanted to enlist us in this horrific accordion packing pool party murder circus, we'd already know that by now. Whatever, I just can't believe it's still gaining traction. I used to be the biggest fan of this poor of a long haired cultist goon who's just gone on a crazy rampage complete with a militia and otherworldly demons. Just for the sake of his own sadistic amusement and giant ego. Guess something like that really makes it seem like the world is gonna end soon, huh? Guess we'll find out. Guess we will! Don't smile like that after that all that ominous talk. It's scary. Pfft. Bye, Laven. Ugh. Laven, examine drawing on desk. It's a sketch of one of your two original characters. This one is called Figment. His nightmarish con construct birthed from the psyche of the other character, character Abel. Kind of like an imaginary friend, only he's very real and doesn't really act like much of a friend at all. They're supposed to be mirrors, somewhat, and have somewhat certain parallels in the ways that they believe and carry them, behave and carry themselves. You got the idea after you first arrived on Prospect. Hmm, I wonder if this will be significant later. Well, we know until Intuition 2 Side 1 that that was significant and all. Well, even Pet Lucis. You give Mutt a light ruffle, ruffle on his head on his head fuzz. He's incredibly respective to the gesture. The little guy's not the brightest of them, sure, but he has plenty of heart to spare. Good boy if you've ever seen one. They even examine shelf. You walk towards your nearby shelf and take a moment to look over its contents. It's been a while since you've done a proper inventory of your supplies, as you were distracted by the spoils of the hunt you went on with your Lucis. At least until you decided to lay down for a spell. Your workroom is not very good for impromptu napping. Not like this dog bed over here. On your shelf there are 482 for <laughs> pieces of printer paper. Oh god. I have a lot of paper as well. One pencil case with approximately five pencils and one needed eraser. One extra sewing kit. One militant horde brand army knife. One line of rope adorned with permanently loose and unloosened knots. And one empty glue bottle. Damn, you're hoping there will be at least a drop left. The one, the one next to it is spent too. And you can't really use the dry glue that's attaching your loosest toys together. What a total letdown that you're kind of absolutely expecting. <laughs> oh, just you know, we've only got like... Pretty sure we've only got like 80 pages left until the end of Act 1. You're just going to have to dig into the crevices of your workroom to find some extra lying around. You really, really need it. Oh god. The enemy is caught I began trolling Windows Artificer. Please. I'm sorry for bothering you. I don't know what's happening. I've lost who I am. I need someone to help me. Just help me, please. Oh. Oh god, it hurts. The enemy is caught She's trolling Windows Artificer. She's not going through the best time. He can't help you. You can't save them. You can't help anyone like you were supposed to. A wave of regret and aimless despair crashes over you, stifling, suffocating. As soon as you hit the send, send on those messages, doubt tastes bitter on your tongue. For the first time in your life, you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. I'll be on check ring. Your body chemistry is completely out of balance. So much so, you were forcibly evicted from the cells seconds after your guardian broke the news to you. You wish I hadn't sent those ludicrous messages to Laven on the tele-tablet. You feel... You don't know what you're feeling. Other than the fact that it's tearing you apart on the inside, and that's, that's the scariest part of it all. You're not sure if you want to know. Albion, receive message. No, you can't drag her into this, no matter how much you may wish to be involved. No matter how much she wants to help, you cannot let her see you in this state. Uh-oh, Albion, read. Okay, so what voice do I do for this little less? Um, I know it won't be the same as Albion's. Albion? Are you there at all? I know tonight is a pretty important night and you're probably busy, but I thought I would at least hear something from you. I have not been over the... I have not over the entire course of the evening. It really worries me. Especially considering what you told me about not being yourself anymore past this date. I also received a message from Murrit about some sort of game he would be playing. It was not very helpful. I don't really know how to speak with him. <laughs> this is not very suitable music. Let's skip. <laughs> Okay, this is a bit more. I don't really know how to speak with him, or most of the others for that matter. But it seems as though I must join in, any hypothetical reservations I may have notwithstanding. And based on what he said, so must you as well? I'm not going to argue it. Honestly, I'm just so lost at what to do on, on tonight in general. Would you could please just speak to me before you go? It would make me feel much better about all this. I miss you. Oh, God. She is not having the best day. Ah. Uh. You. You lied to me. You've left everyone in this world to die. Why have you forsaken me? Why are you forsaken us? 
I want an answer! We've already given you the answer, our child. Those are not answers. The only thing you gave me was kind of a handful of platitudes strewn together. Set yourself apart from any consequences that have come from your lifelong deception. I want to know why I am here. I want to know why I exist. To what my true purpose is. Everything we have said in our last meeting was the truth. We told you that your purpose was to leave this doomed planet rather than save it. We told you that that would come to pass due to the divine intervention. And it will be so. <sighs> Pardon me. This is an event which we have been preparing for, we've been preparing for since we became grateful for your being. Dearest Alvion, you are not the first Dark Child to hold this position, as you know. But you are truly meant to be last. Listen closely to us now. There was one other before you. A brilliant soul who wielded the tides of fate in her favor, so being turned away and betrayed by the one who was sent to grant her deepest, most selfless wish. We are bound to her in the same way that we are now bound to you. We made a promise that we must keep. That's why we needed to relate a faux tale of this world. It would have pained us to do so. It's only so we could ensure your continued preservation of your own self and those who you hold dear. What is this promise that you made to keep you here for the moment? To allow her temporary dominion over your coil through the use of your restrained passions, finally laid bare. Hmm. Oh. Demiage Gontifer began trying to get its debilitation. Um, she's dropped her quirk. Has it begun? Which it are you talking about exactly? There are a lot of different it's going on for me right now, so we're going to have to be more, a bit more specific. The meteors do now skate across the evening firmament, pitting over its canvas and weaving it between the stars with their burning flares. Yeah, I did see that. When I described it as anything that was highfalutin myself, though, it's just another addition to the ever-growing pile of shit I have to deal with today, I guess. I think what is sitting at the top of the set of said pile is avoid a second skirmish with my angry hell beast of a Blusus, by the way. I have managed to take myself in, a cave near the waterfall. Hopefully this will be enough to throw him off the trail for a while. I've been a wind snare of me here, which is just wonderful. The most I could do is sit and con contemplate his silence, hoping it puts pa enough distance between us for me to just sneak past him. None of this seems like a very probable scenario at this point. What with Tin Can Motormouth over here is watching my every move and spewing the most cr cranial matter running facts as loudly as possible. I did manage to get him under the control eventually by pushing with a classic shut the fuck up technique. <laughs> but I guess this meteor garbage means I don't really have to worry about waiting around for very long. Considering that Armageddon seems to be bearing on us from the sky, Dev is pretty much guaranteed, so, so hurry for that. Hurry for that. You are correct. Death is inevitable. There's no certainty other than the fact that it will cl one day claim us all. However, unlike most others, our concerns do not lie in the immediate future. We have been chosen. We set to perpetuate existence, as, uh, and as such, we are special. Almost so than any other individuals that have been, currently are or ever will be alive on this planet. Our lives are the only thing that truly matters, so aggrandizing as that may sound. The sole reason these events have come set, have been set into motion. It is all for the singular, unified purpose, down to the min minute details. Details which I am about to entrust to you are only, uh, trust to you only, Mercive. Hear me, to lend credence to a man who spins his words like yarn. Okay, first of all, you're starting to sound weird. This is getting a bit... So, first of all, I have no clue who you're talking about. First of all, what does it have to do with my current situation? If I'm special, whatever the fuck that actually means, how does it help me not die via inconvenient meteor showers? Or even more inconvenient, anger loses for that matter. Honestly, it sounds like you're feeding me my meaningless platitudes in order to distract me from my imminent doom. And no offense, I'll be on, but I don't care if I'm important. I just want to survive. That salvation will reveal itself to you when it must. My role is not to shepherd you along it, but rather to provide counsel and direct in, direction in seeking it yourself. This includes soothing your fears, so that might, you might embrace full clarity of mind and body. I've learned that the only effective way of accomplishing this is by understanding the true reality of your circumstance, as well as your being. For that, my guidance, you will remain ignorant. That's what I wish to offer, but the ultimate choice is yours. We should not solve problems, and hoping for them only makes the dilemma more prevalent. Something they certainly do not understand. Oh, I think I understand my circumstances pretty well without your oh-so-generous guidances. 
Thank you very much. If you could grant me the favor of actually listening to me for two seconds, I will demonstrate. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to stand between a rock and a hard place. And all you seem interested in is doing what is wasting what little time I have, making absolutely no sense at all. It's just the running theme today, apparently. God, what is up with you two of all you two of all people? Yo, know, I'm not really sure I like this. What is going on with you right now? I mean, I'm not a fan of the, this new quirkless tone either. Damn it. I should maybe try to listen to you if you're offering. Maybe I still can. Not like I have any of your resources available to me right now. But if you're going to help me figure out how to deal with the meteor of the lizard situation, could you at least explain what the hell this yar yarn guy is? As precisely as possible, please. If you could avoid having to deal with another bout of vapid chatterboxing, that would be great. He is the one who owes his life in the name of actuality, beyond time itself. He is the one who speaks in broken tones. One prepares to use our worth in the game of destiny, when others have, ever, have any choice in our inclusion. But even those in the background will be affected and unknowingly pave the way to the locus we are bound to reach. We'll know his mark when we find a blackened text of place of scattered, in a place sca of scattered sound. And you will know the line blooded vessel to his heart. Stop her. Save yourself. That's it? Not even a name or anything? What's this nonsense about line blooded all, all of a sudden? Are you talking about EO? Did she do something? Hey, Albion. Are you there? What do you, who do you mean? What the hell is going on? Am I supposed to save myself? I don't even know what I'm saying. Saving from myself from besides some dumb space while curling in my direction. I finished entrusting you with my thoughts and feelings. Spread them. It's rather crusade you meant in another life. You will know the reason why soon enough. It was really ensured by this conversation alone. It is the last long enough for me to preserve a small beacon of hope in my Xion. Farewell, Mercif. I wish good fortune on you and yours and for the journey end ahead. What the frick? What the frick, a doodle? What are you talking about? Albion, come on! Ugh! Fuck all of this and fuck my life. Be Murray. Oh, hey, this is a track from Stubborn Blood. You once again successfully, nay, masterfully, evaded death and the copious amounts of bodily harm with your sick parkour moves. It is par for the course. <clears throat> the entrance to your beloved hentai dungeon stands before you, greeted you as an old friend would. Oh, yeah, this is where it happens. The singing of various cuts and bruises is a familiar sensation. When it takes you by the hand for a stroll down memory lane, let these tiny little nicks come any closer to what you and Scabbard got up to in the injury department when you were stuck together back in the good old days. But enough reminiscing, you've got a mission to get to. Merit, examine wall. <sighs> Merit. I'm probably going to have to blur this out. It's not blurred out enough. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this wall was never desecrated. An impressive feat that this thing still stands to this day, considering all the tumultuous history centered around it. It was rather nice of the trolls who built this place of worship and part time hentai dungeon to leave the section intact for you. Yes, they only had enough self control not to heave a handful of walls, though, since you ha had to patiently recover and reconstruct pretty much the entire thing by yourself, bit by bit. Like the whole last temple, which took a while. You still remember how you celebrated this fortunate turn of events two years ago by merely taking note of the sigils on the side, as was your sworn duty. And after that was done, you felt celebrated by really decorating the hell out of it. Responsibility is a malleable, malleable concept on your hands. Oh, that was a hell of a redecoration, I tell you that. Ah, there they are, your special pair of emergency shades, which you let down, left down here on an earlier visit. In this case, you happen to find yourself hazily rushing into an abandoned cathedral, completely barefaced, following the direction of a living skeleton man and some ancient writings in order, in order to wait for the release of a dubiously explained cataclysmic phenomenon. A cataclysmic phenomenon that will bring about the end times through the power of video games. You cut the emergency stage and allow yourself a private snicker at just how impossibly dumb this all sounds on paper. Or in this case, walls. Murray, right, examine next wall. Goddamn cryptic runes. These pesky bastards left you scratching your noggin for a good while. Not even meant to be read th the usual way around. You're supposed to go from right to left when dealing with these long forgotten pre Renaissance texts. Aren't we really? Top Sigil is a special one. It doesn't really mean anything on its own, but every the green symbol scattered across the temple can be forged from its mould. If you think of it like a general blueprint, it can be customised to one, suit one's needs. I think there's actually an, um, there's a whole alphabet for this. I forgot what it's called, but it's on the uh, Vastera wiki. The set of specific green symbols translates to Exist, Static, Cycle, Entropy, and Rebirth. In that order, 
You managed to piece together that they are represent, they represent the meteors and their purpose regarding the end of your planet. Or something along those lines, anyway. Make no mistake, you're plenty resourceful, but you're no adept historian or linguist. It could, just, it could just be a spooky prophecy or hold an effective measure of importance in this setup you've been working on. Who knows, even your ingenuity has its limits. A tiny square font is just some numbers. In any case, what do you know about the majority of these marks were used in... Is the, what you do know is that the majority of these marks were used in religious worship, worship pertaining to the 12 aspects that constitute all life and existence, with some of the channeling ritual centering around them. Which is a nice little segue into... Well, this flower... I've been reading for 25 minutes, wow. It's been here since the beginning of time, or so the legend goes. The entire temple was built around the singular carnation. According to these walls, the planet, the plant was supposed to undergo some sort of release process. The exact mechanical details are a bit murky, but the core message remains the same. This process had to happen only twice during the flower's entire lifespan. The first release has already happened. It planted the seeds of life and consciousness into the world. The second release is fated to end everything the first release stood for. And now you're here, ready to watch it all go down for a primary VIP spot. The thrill of a lifetime. Both of the history books, no doubt. Any time now. Okay, maybe a bit early to the party. This is so boring. Alright, kick pod. Hurry up! Alright, punch this pod's lights out. Now, you don't actually want to destroy this thing. The spider golden knuckles aren't even on your on you right now, and you're not about to start punching through rocks with your bare fists like a complete idiot, if you do enjoy playing the part most of the time. Besides, lots of people have tried breaking it open before, including you. If it were possible, someone would have figured it out a long time, a long while back. You're just doing a bit, of, a bit past the time. Maru, receive message. So the blue dog finally got up on off his ass, which is more than we said for one of your other friends. You bet. Those wallet prone types are so like that. Of course, you can't actually tell if it's just him from the ram random pig you heard somewhere in the temple. You'd have to answer and find out, but you neglected to bring one of your many com communication devices with with you when you first headed into your personal trap maze. That you have way too many computers, televisions, smart televisions, and television computers scattered everywhere. To to know where the sound comes from. Luckily, there is a solution to this impasse. Mur, open surveillance, open surveillance modus. modus. What the fuck? You bust out your surveillance modus, displaying the set of capture cards contained within. They are oriented in a way not unlike that of your TVs, back in your main block. Whenever you capture log an item, its card acts as a screen through you, which can view it in real time. The item in question is not moved into your inventory, staying exactly where you left it. You wish to retrieve it, your Windows instantly transports it from a monitored location to your position. If the card is empty, it simply displays static. You're able to freely mo retrieve and monitor whatever you like, but if the item is moved from its surveyed location, the signal is lost, rendering you unable to retrieve it unless you capture log it again. Kind of a hassle, but you don't really mind it too much. You're only monitoring one item right now anyway. Concept of dealing with your finicky motors far outweigh the pros of using it for anything other than specific special circumstances. Alright, examine monitored item. What the fuck is that in the background? I don't even... Oh. That's the only available backup computer. The Donkomat... The Donkomaticomp. You stole it many sweeps ago from some goon hiding away in a rink dink submarine after a particularly vicious game of Dung. That sounds familiar, if you are uh, if you know music. You better give it back after you realise the error of your ways, but the post-mortem status of the cyberphysical reacquisition makes such an act of goodwill a bit moot. An unfortunate side effect if you're all penchant for using deadly force to solve problems. Oh well, in this specific case, your partner in crime happens to be the lethal weapon of choice. I was worried about minute 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 like that. What the fuck does that word? How the fuck do you pronounce that word? Currently, the thing is laying over a pile of various body pillows that represent your friends. Ugh. A set of Turkish originals that you lovingly crafted with your own hands. What? They are stashed away in secret hidden block that would require a lot of effort and poise to reach without serious injury. That's how they're coming from the mysterious pink stone that it was coming from. Ugh, oh, Murray, you fucking weirdo. I love you. <laughs> platonically. I love all Vastera characters platonically. Don't, like, you know. I don't love love any. Don't worry about that to any kinnies out there. I don't love you romantically. No way. I have... I don't... I can't have feelings for fictional characters anymore. I kind of can't pass that. Or less than my own characters, in which case... Uh, hmm, we don't talk about that. Locomaticon is transported to your location once you pick its card. God, you forgot just how many stupid bells and whistles this whole thingamajig had. Let's see if you can remember how to talk to another troll on it. Marin, answer Laven. I'm actually going to take a break, so we'll be right back. Obviously, it'll take a second for you because I'm pausing the recording. I came back. <clears throat> Just had a ham sandwich. Right, Ansel Laven. Sardface began trolling Uncle Kahuna. <clears throat> Let me sit, go play again.
I left, I left the music on, so that's why it changed. Hey, I'm, I'm up and about. The music's getting pretty close by now. The good news is, I ran into white noise just before I woke up, which we both expected. It's a pretty important piece of the game. Not that I can deal with it right now, but I got it. Guess we should probably talk about it later. When we have time. Uh, we talk about who the, who the fuck is white noise? Well, you know. Think that Pennywise gave the dog a bone, man. <laughs> okay, I knew who you were talking about. I wanted to say it more decent like. And you delivered as always. Nice. Now the bad news is, I looked everywhere. I still gotta find one bit of glue. I think I have to give up on my quest. Also do the time trying with drains. Thoughts of praise added to you. This is just as incredulous as, as well as incredible as incredulous as well as incredible on my end. Made it deeper in the hole. Cause of my injuries there, here and here, there, and everywhere. What's stuff that I could, I could just can't just shake off? A little light headed's no heavy deal. Heavy deals exist along the line have have, have long since crossed. Now I'm just sitting here waiting for the payoff to come. Gotta spell it like that, don't you? But how do we have now? You know how consistent the thing is. I'm going to say that it's actually on time with a little less than four minutes to spare. And guess to who exactly got pop got the pop out of this frilly pad? I guess that whatever whatever it is, the first thing that's going to come to his night, we flat on him out hot ass. I'm just going to stare back at the blind end and be like, "Well, I guess this is now we're getting now I'm struggling to read him." No idea. What does this prophecy even look like? Any sort of physical form? I mean, we don't know this thing's where the game starts. Whatever that means. It must be an easier some file we need to spread around. First, I'm holding on to it. It's a big explosion of some sort. But if I look at it, it has anything to do with it, it needs to be some filthy McGrath and ass dude telling us we just got punked. Go to confetti and studio and just belly ache in that cat left for effect. So I walk down the lucky depths of a water locked doom to kill myself. But I don't think that'd kill you exactly. I'm not, at least not immediately, especially in your case. Wouldn't mess you up good, though. It's like the perfect way to get the melancholy in your lap blood to flow in. This is good that's not what I'm about. It's good that's not what I'm about. Who said you never get sad? Nah, nah, dude, I'm not saying I don't bust it with feelings. I'm saying I don't get as bad as the rest of you sad sacks, though. I mean, sure, this is a sad place at a sad time. With sad boys and sad girls and sad looming environmental hell creeping up and making their struggle extra worse. But if I keep a foot with, a, with, us, with us here, then who will? I should be alright, I think. But you're not me. No offense, my man, but we gotta keep our different niches and, and roles stark and erected, or else we'll, we all just run together. So keep me in the rubber and you keep me the glue. I guess that's true. I should turn that metaphorical insult right back around. So kudos on that one. Oh, speaking of, do you have any idea what's going on with Albion right now? She sent me a few frantic messages earlier. I don't talk to her very often anymore, but she seems like she wasn't doing so great. I tried to check, on her, check in on her, and I never got anything back. So... I got no fucking no one sparkle, spark, sparkle sparkles deal here, man. Only people I've talked about said the general member were you, Juggle Mounds, and Scarwreck. And Buttons, if we ever want to call that a convo. Which I tried to die on darkness to make not work. I'm gonna take a wild guess that she's fine, and even if she's not, she's not. We gotta worry about starter before we can get into the collateral. I'm gonna say I'm damn sure nothing too awful could even happen to us right now. But if we get to be momentarily invincible as key turners in the ignition of Balti going. Really, I'm just bunkered on this whole I don't know what's happening chorus that keeps getting slung around like cheapo smart and ass fighter pond, fighter bond. I mean, you're most important for the out outbound preset of Even we don't get full detail privileges. I don't really have a whole scrapbook full of the pics I'm showing off, but I'm still doing it because it's got to be done. Just wish something, sometimes there was more than a flow to go along with. How long this memo? Please end soon. I make all the ambiguity a bit easier to handle. That's our call. We have to be, we have to be that flow for them. Because really, I see why this all sounds a bit overwhelmingly stupid. Or at least just overwhelming. So, there's not a lot we can do, that I can do. Until Arctic gets in anyway. Which is with, with the question of, what's all flower dealers done in a minute? What do you think we're going to be doing? I don't really need to do anything else after the blooming, really. We should sit back and twiddle our stick, Flanders. Well, I know that Wrestler is going to be steaming up with Message Storm as soon as this is, is said and done. I told her the big news is the time, but she just wasn't having it. So I guess she's going to have to learn the hard way how this is all, goes, all goes down. Us too. If I had some learning, I've crashed the piss and tears of it on it. So she's flipping out. A sort of jerk is pulling out. How's about you and me get on with some adherence to furry politics? I think I owe you one. For sure. What you do when we owe me one? Woof. Papa and I'll be meeting you there slow, shortly after I dump the serum and yell at us from my flappers. Well, this being so fucking important, I think we should get a, a chance to play the, as the real games here. Fella, I'm settling in for fake. It's here. Ugh. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Whoa. Bitches ever go where I began trolling. Oh, that's good. What in the pantomime fuck did you just do to my stack top? Didn't do nothing. Like a skating fire pass, you didn't. You told me about a game earlier, and now I have one permanently stuck to my screen. If there's anything in this dead and decaying carcass of a friend group who could conceivably have an explanation for the supplying flurry just burst from my wall and embedded itself into my hard drive, it's you. There's no minimize, no exit, and no power off function that works. Can't even access another application. All I have is a screen, a bunch of buttons with functions. I don't even have the slightest clue about a score bike on. I bet this damn thing wouldn't even have one scrape anymore if I decided to drag it out across my beat up block columns. And you are the only one who said. You were the one who set up this goddamn stage and shoved us all in without any explaining of our roles. Do you even try to deny it? You really, you just really don't listen, huh? Oh, but I do listen. This is a game. We just established this, remember? You've been telling everyone the gist of the stupid shred for ages. But now I want actual an answers. Why do you think I was tugging your tube earlier, Juggle Mounds? This is really exactly what your role was, and you went and denied true facts of knowledge as per usual. Here's the score, guys. I'm a charitable uh, and patient man. I need to talk to our man, Sad Boy. You need to work him into the new age. What does that mean to mean, Turkin? Do you hear yourself right now? What kind of facts are these? Ones I know. Like, shit, I had no clue that was good. That was how the game got peddled. Drybones has got a touch, it looks like. Drybones has got a touch, it looks like. Perhaps him for, for it being on the, the quick and easy. I'm going to slash your eyes and turn them into a new pair of slick dividers. Truth be told, I don't know what a lot of this means myself, even though I prattle about it, the, its importance. But you know, a great dude once said, you don't listen, you die. There's a pure and simple facts from Macho Man number 248 or whatever. I'm really tired of hand, hand me down and answers to, to hands who don't chop my bit. Got me on score to sell with a, with a bang broski. So you want my spin? Figure it out. Test is great game mechanics. Oh, suitable. I'm pretty sure the same songs have played at least a few times, even though. I've shoveled the entire Vastera music. And there's a lot. You stop by taking a close look at the series of panels displayed at the topmost. Wait, what the? God, that is him. So him really wasn't kidding around. You recognize that face anyway, even after the sweeps upon sweeps of zero contact and callous unanswered messages. He wouldn't be able to hide from him if he tried. Ugh. He's really let himself go. You're gonna tell him that in the nicest way possible. Taz, greet, greet Archek in the nicest way possible. You. I, humorist, really didn't appreciate you violating the sanctity of his private white box dom 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 domicile. Anything you want to say to him could just as easily be withheld within your personal brain matters to you. Also, regret ever thinking it in the first place. Trust me, he knows from experience. Fucking really. You're still using a vacuous autoresponse message system to try and ward me off? Not gonna work shit with. If I'm being forced to talk to you, then you sure as hell not getting away from this pathetic excuse from an avoidance mechanism. You are not gonna just keep your ass planted on the floor and ignore me for however long you want. I've laid off that particular hook for sweeps, over and over. No more. My ass has been busted to get you to where you could even conceive of this pathetic life of state of your existence you continue to squander and run straight into the ground. And if I have to rip each individual limb right off your deteriorating laggy torso in order to drive that lesson and hope into your thick skull once and for all, so help me gods, I will do so. I'll drag you ragamuffin ass, kicking and squirming all over this homely hell's half-acre, your vermin pellet. So you better get the fuck up and help me figure out what to do about this game nonsense, or I'll drown you in your own corn syrup tin and string you in string entrails around my waist before any other worldly phenomenon can even think take my place, hauling you up garishly over your, over your cranium and feasting on your mush drain. Do you hear me? Do you fucking hear me? Wake up! And moments later, he does. With that, we are brought back to full circle. Gaps in logic have been filled, players have been duly no introduced, and now we reside in current time once more. We've just been dying to get back to our very first protagonist. Let's get to it, shall we? You know, we've seen this already. Yeah, I've got a slight clue what this means. We have to dear. What the fuck is that? Game of Statu. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> You're instantly not a fan of this situation, which you think is very reasonable considering that whoever is behind that augmented reality game cursor is making sure to drill a point hard, point in hard directly into your skull. 
Fucking all right, dipshit. Yes, you get the idea. You're taking a look at your computer screen. At least the mystery of that weird paper scribble got solved before it even had a chance to get started. Ah, oh, tickets. Bet game mechanics. It's like pretty much every single other game you are you've seen, meshed into a single dull package. What's tricky the most, however, is your symbol, bracelet displayed in the upper right corner of the, the screen. The specificity, the, the specificity is in equal parts puzzling and concerning. You haven't clicked any shade links in recent memory, and the possibility of virus proprietors being invested in your cooperation in some sort of niche weirdo project seems highly unlikely. Besides, there's been way too many coordinated happenstances lately. The stack feels ominous, foreboding. It all leads to more questions than immediate answers. Scorm seems to be up and running, though. As much as you're a fan, not a fan of engaging in conversation in the best of days, maybe whoever's betting you can offer some real insight. Arctic, open Scorp. How long are we reading now? 40 minutes. Oh, I thought, of course it's her. You stare at the purple text on your screen for several seconds. Arctic, answer Taz. Oh, my. Yeah, you know what? The same songs are playing. Let me skip to the next one and see if... Okay, let me just... Play a, um, this one, I guess. Do a nice fucking nap, you prize-winning Kreesak! And you wonder why I don't talk to you anymore? Thank you for just setting the most premium example of why that is the case, where on top of the most broken pedestal is our shared ruined memories, even if it's at the time we had anything to do with each other's lives. This attitude is just rich. You think I'm enjoying this exchange in an inconceivable way? Wow, your anger is still as disproportionate, misdirected, and repetitive as it ever was and always will be. Good to know we're barely a couple of messages in. You're already trampling on the same metaphorical roadkill that's been decaying on the pavement stretch for over two sweeps. Haha, <laughs> good times. I'll tell you where the hell you've been going on about, and also how you knew I was on the floor. Oh, right, because you're obviously doing so much better with your own immodest operation. At least I'm consistent with my issues. All you've managed to do is drag yourself pollingly deep into a gaping pit of mental starvation and brassy language. So forgive me for thinking my blatant distaste is still beyond justified at this point. And now you were lazing on the floor just because I went through the trouble of going in all the way th all the way out to your middle-of-nowhere muck puddle, once again choosing to break your pathetic ass. I'm about to bust, bust through your front door and shove your disgusting moth through the fucking floorboards. That'd be just what you would expect from me at this point, I'm sure. I had to message you first to give you a nice heads up. You're welcome. Pardon me. Gee, thanks. I really have to get most out of your newfound enthusiasm for a brace of tasteless jokes. He makes such a relish in his feeling and take it all in. It's like a whiff shot of tear gas. I really have to punch your, punch your face. I guess that would be repetitive too, wouldn't it? That was the lowest possible blow you could have taken. But I'm not going to devolve into hysterics over it this time. It should be pretty clear you don't care. Plus, I've already gotten enough unexpected shit going on right now, without having to throw you into the pot as well. What I'm actually dealing with is eerily close to what you just described, actually. So a person popped up completely unannounced earlier, right by my hive, and then fucked off to the who knows where. I was outside to investigate, and then I wasn't. I shouldn't have woke up, woke up inside my room. Also, my clothes are now inexplicably clean. Ugh, who even cares about your clothes, Arctic? I do! They're special! Wait, I'm not pulling some sort of elaborate ruse or overwhelming sleepwalking issues over here. I've got a serious memory gap. It's not just gonna... It's not just because there's a little arrow insistently drilling right into my skull chasm. It's probably killing my knowledge cells as we speak, by the way. I feel the heading coming. Okay, I do believe there's a lot of um, dialogue here between these two, so... I don't know if there's like 30 pages left, but this is, they're pretty big. Well, maybe you should have pondered all that before you decided it would be a useless fuck and force me to take action. So you were the one behind this. I ain't gotta coax that out of this soon. I thought it was pretty obvious by now. It sure wasn't, because you don't say things. You bellow from the bottom of your chest cavity and shove your foot directly into anything you don't understand, without even thinking about the possibility of causing damage in the process. And whenever you do formulate something, it's not just an encompassing ground with extra fuck thrown in as the, and as the rip pincer on top. You hypocrite. Contrary to your assumption, I'm not doing this just to spite you. There's actually something serious going on for once in your miserable, cushy, li cushy life. I wouldn't be wasting this much time, my time with you if, if there wasn't. Or if it wasn't something I could avoid. Oh yeah? If something else is phys also physically shoving, your down, shoving you down and forcing you to look at a game screen, perchance? Do you have an entire link chain of abstract symbol-based cursors holding up hostage in our own homes? Because if that's a very specific case, I shall then completely forgive you. Might as well be. I'm sure shit can't do anything else with that game window taking over my entire computer. That plus all the other obscure, doom-slinging instructions I've received tonight. That's a pretty hard and annoying point. So I don't know if I managed to dig into your head by now. 
I want to make sure you actually stayed put and listened to me, because I had to prod, prod at your puny lanky body and watch you snore for several minutes, which is also annoying. So I can give myself a tiny bit of satisfaction. I'll admit that was a good call. Given the chance I was absolutely... Um, I would absolutely be as far away as possible as this spot by now. What's up, Doom is being slinged around, though? There's like nothing out of the ordinary going on. I mean, in my case, maybe. With the restrictions of th third parties, such as yourself, and busting autonomous re reallocation of my unconscious body and such, but other than that, it's not as a trap as any other. I said that you feel me integration or a little tug has made you forget that you're the one putting this game into motion in the first place. You can just stop at any point and let our stomach today run its course. Get your computer checked out later. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have one less weird thing to worry about if tonight if I could help it. I think this is one involving you. I already learned my lesson there. Were you really out of it for that looking long? Remember, Captain doesn't even begin to describe the problem, problem then. Because then I dragged you away here fresh out of your ignorant bliss, I'm sure you didn't get a look at the extensive message Murat sent everyone. I'm not going to waste any, even more of my time trying to repeat myself of this confusing gibberish. I'm sure I can handle that much if you value your life. If you can't, then get ready, because you're about to anyway. Oh, check. Open memo. Oh, this. Okay. Come on. Hello. I'll give it a minute. What do you mean I'm not connected? Okay, give me another fucking minute. Right, let's get into it. <coughs> I just had an apple because I was hungry again. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. I've got to read that much of more. more it's like, oh. UK is the next. Sanguine allegory, gigantic style of debilitation, animated humorist, purpose facilitated, damage qualified, deployable decadence, with a artificer, macabre exude, pernicious overkill, and graduated saturation into the conversation. Hmm, he seemed to have not put one person in for some reason. Hmm. Is everyone is it the one we don't need? Okay, you can not to shut y'all the fuck up. Fuck down. I'd be wasting my time with anything but the primal issues. So you got personal messages about all this from yours truly, but before, no here's your official strategic checklist of what tonight's hell day is, has in store for us. It's a lot. Basically, just that I've been working off a sweeps on research and helping the man out with these festivities he got in store for us. Now, what are the festivities you're probably asking yourself with a dumbfounded wetness seeping into your pants? <sighs> But, sim but plus simply, it's a new state-of-the-art V-game project with the plot being to become big heroes. I know some of you are into that. Like, at least two or three of you. And this baby is the full package of world warping objective-based missions, just like each and every other few good games we got on our perma-green-light sales market. But this game right here, this game is different from any other contender you might get have on your list. You're not going to recognize the name because it's not even got an official one. This is not... This is not them usual big releases with public guys set on the price waiting for nerds to start beating each other half to death with the starting gate kind of bullshit you see on the wreck. Um, where, where, oh god, where was I? <laughs> I've got the approximate know-how of how to get you guys into it. Into it after soul-searching and finishing my last work, he said, call this mausoleum, sprouted to the dawn of time and, uh, and all, all, all of ours. Ugh. This is getting really hard. Which you straight up don't get a choice and buy into or not, because it's facts. I'm adding words in now, Jesus. This game's a change this is a game this game is a change that tells natural law to go round right about fuck over itself into oblivion. Place when it's ready for not, not place when it's ready, right when you are. Don't even know when you're all gonna be in or not or how you're gonna be getting in, and I'm talk and talks to the man who made it. I'm gonna go down in the dungeon and double check the important bits there before we get rolling. But it's gonna be soon. I'm saying it's the soon is important here because it's time the shit we got gotta watch out for. Time is other shit and we gotta watch out for. Hey, if I not playing along, is death. Don't even get to die peacefully. So the meteorite is gonna fall from the sky and squash you up. Squash you, you have for the world like some kind of one-note bug on a planet scale. That's gonna, that's gonna be happening anyways, not gonna lie, but you'll, you'll make it out there, don't worry. Because I got you and your way where shoved right up into my cul culinary chair for safekeeping. You can't make it out all right, even if that's all the shit, you're gonna be destroyed and... And you're gonna be popping off out of existence as far as this world is concerned. This will be the main point of what I'm here for. To explain what you need to survive past this sad experience we're all going to be needed, having, having and sharing. So grab a pencil because I'm about to insight you on the steps of not getting splattered by me metric rock, 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 rock ton of ball plinking your body down into the ground. There's a way to escape the means before your entire physical and metaphorical lives is living is smashed. Lives in the sacred love, the buddy system. Each of us got a client and a server and each of us is going to have those roles. Both need to support game functions and they'll be flip-flopping as we go along. 
Clients who's going in, service the ones making sure they get in. The game isn't really sure, isn't really the game until you do a quick time mini event to make sure there's a game you can play. Nothing the need is complexity, it's like the maker man knows how I'm deep down in my, gil my guild push pad. Tip punching two sweet shuckle back shadow and making the first rounds first whether they want one ticket or not. I even plan out myself as a gank or not. Then fate just turn plays with your crotch meat and finish slow grinning, I guess. Rest of us go like this. P O W A M E G D. Wait. Me. Oh. P O P O W A M E G D D Q P D S A F F M E at G S redacted A H. So that is. Taz, Laven, Murit, um, Dismas, Albion, Teal Girl, Red Girl, Yellow Person, uh, other, um, Oceus, um, Calder, uh, Redacted, and an Arcjack. Well, you know, we, I'm, I'm saying Calder because we, we know his name's Calder from Snowbound Blood. <clears throat> it's been mentioned like twice. <laughs> So going down, you'll need to see that one of you, once, once you're a servant to the person behind you, you then become a client who's next in line to insert yourself into the world, to, world tomorrow. I might talk to these guys if you don't already, because they're in charge of your entire purpose. I'm sure we can work out those weirdo combos somehow. Don't know how this all works or what to expect pushing forwards, but hey, if it works out, you won't be gone physically at least. You'll cycle back to pencil lane once it's all, says, all said and done. But on the side, seriously, dude, I wouldn't set my sights on re redacted. I'm not going to go into detail on it, but that would just cause major props. So I'm kind of half busting my cold of honor here, but legit, it's gonna make my, it's gonna be much better without her in. Maybe some of you know what I mean. It's not good news. We don't need to, we don't need not good news on top of our righteous stack of bad news. We're dropping on. So feel free to ignore that last bit. Um, huh. I think I need. I can give you that. I know that. I know this game has some codes I transcribed in my reconstruction work. These are the one, one real sure deal. I know that you need to have going in. All you guys are going to have different codes, but this one specific bunch that's going to have to be repeated over and over again for each process. 1263, 1194, 1077, 5728, 6012. This codes hold besides being related to avoid it to hot, hot in igneous load barreling down the sky in our collected direction, you ask? Fuck shit, piss if I can tell you that much is as early on as I answer. But hey, do come up with a nice picture, which are also important, so I'll link them down below. Right. We have already heard this one. Let me put. That's all I got for you to be honest. This what I've told you into practice. Come the right time and you're good. Please, 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 God, don't make me re-explain and retract my words, bringing a fuck ton of time before I go in. I'm still thinking five times to be questioning them before all you people, and then I'm shutting down my expedition camp. It's supposed to be a game, and it won't work right if you don't learn along the way or some shit. Sure, have funsies. Or do I try and? Catch you on the other side. Great. Okay. Still isn't adding up. What does this one show me? Are you plus considering my ever into dumb shell gag that everyone's in on? Yeah, sure, this is definitely some sort of special video game. All that code business with this vital information nonsense is obviously 100% made up. If by you or Marit or one of the others. I mean, come on. It's like that you're actively trying to ruin this every night, this night even further than already managed on its own. And frankly, I'm not into that. Perhaps we're trying, though. Are you serious? You just got a fuck ton of information. We're sure past the point of ignoring. If I can't, then you can't either, Gunchblood. I wish ruining your night was all I was trying to do here. Because that would be considerably more entertaining and would also give me the option of just leaving it not having to deal with you anymore once I got tired of it. That's not a choice the could make. I don't know. Can we? Has my check voice changed? I don't know. Hold on, give me a second. See, I don't try to get deeper and de deeper, 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 you seem fairly adamant on complaining regardless, like some sort of helpless little grub. It's a pretty big fucking deal. Pretty fucking big deal. I should have to tell you anything else to, to get you to cooperate. Do I really need to show you? 
What are you gonna show me? Some paper actually rocked the FF made the, from Clubcraft paper hurling towards my window. So I'm gonna pop out with his gaggled cameras and laugh so hard that he ends up coughing blood. I like this wicked epic prank. I happen to want to break it to you, but what are we, what are, what are you dealing here is an extremely weak joke of your design. If I felt yours, than someone else's. No, the only way this planet is dying is when it inevitably crumbles apart from its own wear and tear. The only way I'm dying is when it equally inevitably decides to off myself with a rope and final sense of relief. I'm not going to live for a living little things like this conversation anymore. Surely we need to have this irrefutable, by this irrefutable proof that you're shoving on my lap? Then by all means, go ahead. Do your worst. I'm trying hard to keep myself awake over here as you gather your wits, but I'm feeling rather another nap coming on. All right, then you coded sphincter. Here we fucking go. Tess, make him cooperate. Uh oh. Oh, Jack, investigate scene. Uh oh. Maze Meteor. After a false and impactful look at the scene just before us, you've come to realization that this game isn't a joke. Uh, uh, look at. Okay, so one came up, I think, I don't know. I. I don't know how to say this. What did I just say about this? That's a problem, and you're going to listen to me. No, what I want to do is say that this route, this cosmic joke, has taken us off the goddamn deep end. There's coming full circle, and then there's having the circle start encapsulating its own identity through a stagnant but divisive line. Do you know what the new line creates? Another circle. Yeah, stack on top of one another until they reach the world's end. And what do you know? It seems we've reached the tipping point of it all. Okay, maybe they just shut the fuck up now. Was it the garbage I've heard tonight? Dealing with you and dealing with my own shit? I've had enough. I don't really have the time to squirm around and complain about the existential concepts around the situation. Says you. Yes, says me! Was a giant meter battling over towards your hive not enough of a motivator? See, that's the problem. It actually was a motivator for me. Unbelievable. That's just like your whiny inane that's just like your whiny inane self. Now the only one who can't manage to pull himself out of his own siren puddle of lethargy and self living long enough to consider the things that affect his own life, much less the lives of others. I don't think you understand where I come from here. I should do something about this. That's that's a step above nothing. The flaming space rock curling toward your window will do that to you, I guess. I said this is bigger than me. I still understand it. That's what, that's what bothers me. But I can at the very least admit when I'm wrong. Let's tell me what we should do. How do we play? Should have been easier on both of us. You just said that for the fucking start instead of rambling on about nothing for several precious minutes. I'm trying to get too above for a little compliance. Unfortunately, the rules are something we're going to have to figure out together. We're saying you to this point. It's taken up all my time so far. How much time do we have? I don't know. But I got to look at all this crap. I have to take it's probably not an amount Evers would be very happy with. You're telling me this game doesn't have a ho hollow bucket or virtual co control setup? No guys, your points of reference? Nothing? It might. I just said I haven't looked yet. I wondered you said, but these kind of games usually open up with the rules and an overview of the features. I'm also giving you a period of time to look over it instead of just sending you in fresh. I guess I just wasn't aware awake to read mine. I started as a stable back when I was really reading up those out of these SBRV, SBVR RPG tournaments. I know about that idiot. I was there. Huh. Weird. I don't remember that super well. Regardless, do you get, did you get anything like that? I don't think this is a typical game in any shape or form. So no, I didn't. I guess we have one option. We should randomly scrap all of the buttons and see where that gets us. Oh, and please remember to never ever to play video games ever again after this. <sighs> Fine. Tess, pick a button, any button. Pick a button, any button. I'm fucking missed with the cursor. I'm gonna look at the quizzical looking, the quizzle, quizzical looking squiggle button first. That's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. What quizzical and squiggly? You're squawking to your own band of hol hollering rubber nose clad noisemakers here. Uh oh. That's the that's the copyright. That's the one we've got a copyright claim. Um, it's what I've not listened to yet. Just go volume. Th there we go. Actually, that's how we all feel. Also, I'm clicking on the button too. Have an object. Quick, quick. This better not be copyright, or, or did they make this? I don't know. That's an object. Quick. Click this looking squiggle button. Open tutorial. Introduction. Welcome. This is an introduction to your game, how it works, and what you'll need to do in order to survive it. 
If you're not part, if not in any other instance of the game, it is suggested that you do so as, pos as soon as possible, as it's convenient for com communication methods. The game is built around giving its players free will in terms of how they decide to play it. Without any input and decision making, the end goal of it would be rendered moot. There are still some standard systems in place to ensure a smooth start to your journey. If you're a server player, your job is to help your client player progress into a separate area known as the medium while diverting them from danger. If you're a client, please be sure to return to the screen once it's time for you to exercise ser server duties. This will signal to you by your screen to change your state of status to a view of your client. If you're reading this, then you're already connected to the game's UI and have successfully set up a server client connection. By the time this game is finished installing, a series of meters will be headed towards your planet based on the number of players in your session. As part of the game is a tutorial designed... Decide to showcase all your, you need to know about the basic mechanics and start the game proper. Client information. The top left area of the screen shows your client's current information. All player icons and associated colors are pulled from each, each individual's chat client of choice. Presented to you in this section is your, client, is your client's player's profile and current in-game level. Selecting will will display critical update information regarding the player. Honestly, there are three small bars which indicate your... Indic which show in order. Your client's experience, gold, event time are blue, and current gold progress, white. Each of the bars can be hovered over in order to display more exact details. The large green bar at the top of this section represents your client's health points. If it if completely depleted, it means that the player has perished. At this stage, keep an eye on the event timer is imperative. If it runs out during the entry process, the client will die on a meteor impact. You must make sure this does not happen, or else your game will not play as intended, potentially resulting in unforeseen negative consequences to your planet, and you can make it into the medium. Server information slash player navigation. As the server, your icon and the health file will work in the exact same way manner as the client's being located on the upper right corner of the screen. The server has also access to a variety of camera navigation tools, including directional navigation, camera rotation, zoom, and a client locator. Locator, if pressed, will automatically sense the camera on your client, ensuring you are always able to find them when necessary. Party. On the far left of the screen, there's a thin black arrow. Clicking on it will open a sidebar that displays the rest of your party's health and player profiles, with the exception of the client and server pair already shown above. You don't need to access their player profiles until they've established a, a server-client connection of their own. Okay, I don't know if... I really don't know if the volume of this will be, like, louder than, um... You know... the me reading. Let's just put another random one on. <laughs> Does this one also have... I forgot, I just put this one on. <laughs> Moments access this player for us until they have a subject server slash client connection of their own. Toolbar. Above the UI, you will find a list of buttons and displays with varying functions. There are, there are as follows Menu, Help Tutorial, Trading Center. And how I recognize this song. Profile, Chat Client, Experience, Pass Loss Level, Crafting, Inventory. So these functions will only become available after the third progress is made into the game. This tutorial window will be provided to you with initial information as they are unlocked. A personal profile contains the same information as your clients, only in relation to your person. You and your fellow players will start accumulating experience once the medium is entered. Okay, I've got enough charge, I'll just pick it up. May level by completing objectives and quests, defeating enemies, gathering currency, engaging in various acts of heroism, and unlocking, unlocking achievements. Pardon me. All players begin at level 1, although each player's leveling of process will be unique, reflecting their individual journeys through the game. The max level gap can only be reached through a specific method that involves an intricate chain of processes which will be revealed to you at a later time. The crafting inventory windows will be used periodically. Any items you and your client pers personally acquire or craft can be viewed and accessed from your inventory of any currency you may earn. The crafting windows will allow you to create new items using various materials in order to enhance your experiences and chances of survival. The first task in the game will involve these two windows, as you will is to use the crafting window to create the items needed for your clients to escape their impending demise. Once you've entered the medium, you may click and rearrange the icons on the left side of your toolbar to your liking. Depending on how you play, the new features may be added to the game in addition to the default, default options. The judging communication client for your party is Scorp. There is no way to change the option once it is set, but it is not attempt to switch your communication hub as immediately to lose contact with other players. Epilogue. This concludes the explanation of the game's main UI and the general tutorial on how to get your clients to enter the medium. Please proceed with the haste and caution and cause minimal, minimal structural damage and endeavours to co cooperate and stay alive for the duration of this session. Good luck. Test and object close tutorial. That was longer than I remember it being. Well, ooh la dee da. Fucking tutorial! How I set testimonies of a new game gamer day to bestow upon us. I should go back to my cell and engage in a spontaneous bout of groveling of this prowling game dev from the hell dimension. Obviously, there's way more on the complex topic of pushing some buttons. Than I can never hope to. Shut up! I got a new thing. 
Did you get a new thing? Yeah. Well, maybe we don't talk about it, though. So when you're talking about you should say them out loud as you write them. I just want to let you know. I can hear it. And tell me if you're voice something, you're not being even remotely serious about this. My guess is that you're trying to just delay the inevitable with your pathetic screeching because you're afraid of the consequences. But I'm not your grip sitter. Oh, no, this song again. Wait, where was I? I'm not your grip sitter. Your emotions are not my responsibility. I don't deal in feelings. Click it. No. Stop arguing. I know what you're going to say in the chat. Stop. Stop typing and talking. Click the button. <laughs> That's not it. Click the button. I don't like this. Now you shut up. I think I know what this thing is. Oh, you do, do you? Tell me then. Just an initial disclaimer, I don't care if you don't believe me. I'm still going to derive some major satisfaction of dispensing these facts. So we precisely zero no these le leads otherwise. I think it's my turn to be proactive. Well, then forever this duo, huh? Oh my god, just get on with it, Arkjack. Alright, fine. There's some very high-quality non-fiction that even I have a hard time buying. So, I've been, I've been having these un-enough recurring dreams, I guess you could call them, almost every night. It's been going on, on for sweeps. I'm not going to go into unnecessary specifics, but whenever I, my internal dreams get in the moves for some weirder visions, I end up dwelling awake somewhere other than the place I fell asleep. Of sleep. And every single time I'm holding a piece of paper, I somehow scribbled nonsensical symbols on my, on my fervent sleep saddled saint. Sleep saddled state. I would just ball them up and toss them out. I I didn't think this really meant anything. I don't really think about the possibility. There's no way I can feasibly claim those things were coincidence anymore, though. I've seen the spiral shape thing before. Oh, my throat. I will probably get to the end of Act 1 by the end of this video. At least various appro approximations of it, but they still seem too close for comfort. I think they're just what we need to solve this entry thing the tutorial mentioned. And there you go. Leah Prudent Hole gets deeper and deeper still. I think I can trust logic wise at this point that will not inadvertently lead to me falling down into a gaping pit of hidden meanings and secret foreshadowing, I wonder. Well, are we waiting for your wriggling day to get any more triggered with false prophecies? We just like to show that you're worth more than the crush stuck, stuck at the bottom of my sneakers. Get them! Arctic, on ball papers. Huh. You're being awfully meticulous all of a sudden. Hurry up! Ugh. If I just so much time not giving you a shit about anything, why are you trying to be organized now? This is barely worth it. What the fuck? What are you doing? Do these magic dream papers have to be millimetry aligned for them to work? Actually, don't answer that. <laughs> Ah, it seems we're having some technical difficulties. So this is not the first time this has happened, and he will be the, the last. Huh? Hello again. Could you be so interfering with, my, with the signal? My favorite part of the show is on. I believe we've had enough of your little interruptions for the to last one eternity. So be like their narratives be fully cohesive. I wonder who that is. Thank you. Where were we? We have like 10 pages or so left. Less than 10, I think. What's this one? I already listened to this one as well. I'm not likely obliged to answer. That information stays between me and myself. So did I just go with the fact that the papers are, you know, important? I just felt like treating them a bit more with respect, because I initially disregarded their intrinsic value. Don't quote me on this, but I've heard it's healthy and normal to feel legitimately sorry about things. You know, I've never apologized. I'm sorry, papers. Truly, I don't have liked your rightful place in this operation. It's not about the way you rest on the floor in a sad heap. It's in the way you bind yourself to this awful predicament that we find ourselves in. Together. I understand you're playing the part of peacekeeper in these trying times. So you those two, I think Ted's being more than a little unfair right now. You don't deserve that callous treatment. Who deserves that? Except for me, obviously. Shh, it's okay. How about you taking the weight of the remarks on my back? You're in good hands now that I've established a mock dialogue with you. <clears throat> wow, alright. That's the fucking, delu the fucking delusion to get more useless der derision. All that was extremely relevant is exactly what we needed to help us figure this out. I'm sure the papers appreciate your kind actions and consideration. This is, this is a thought. Maybe I'd like to ask them what, you should, what you're just doing from, th from the get-go would make your life easier next time. I'm not sure how willing they were to open up at this point. Maybe it would be best if you asked them politely. Since you can both see and hear us having this very real conversation in very real time. I know, right? Sorry, talking to the papers. 
think I'm about to cure this with an actual response, but the audio visual feeds don't go both ways. I'm just talking talking at my screen. Not very helpful for a spoken conversation. You can type your response. I'll translate all of your snarling. Or, here's a wild idea. Maybe we should get back to fucking work. And here's an even wilder idea. Just let me fucking have this. Or better yet, let me apologize to you for having this attempt to lighten up the situation which I have no control over so far. I quite later dragged it my, against my will. Which turned out to be the worst, second worst day of my regrettable spawning. Look, agree with another than the one person I never wanted to hear death rattle on her keyboard at me again. Oh yeah, I'm really about to die unless I follow either your screeching directions or the ravings of an incarnational slam jacket with more exposed RGB wires with than common decency. Can't forget about that. So, please excuse me for trying to keep my spirits up in the midst of your rampaging temper tantrums. I just yell at the same things over and over and over again, and like I'm incapable of understanding even the most rudimentary of concepts. Do I have to fucking grovel at your feet and thank you for the molten, irradiated core that is your catastrophic anger? Has that not been a haunting specter constantly looming over me for all these sweeps? Do you want to get results, or do you want to keep wasting your time by saying that I'm wasting mine? This is a totally rushed room that I, you and I are barely standing on. So you get something done by you, the, done the you way, by all means. Take your own personal floor. As far as my side of the podium is concerned, I'll be giving things my way. And if I absolutely have to, I'll make sure to meet you smack dab in the middle of Axis in order to ensure the continued survival. But once this is over, don't you fucking dare think I'm going to keep this little lambasting act up. Once I'm out of here, we're done. Let's just move on and figure out what these codes are. No. You just word out all of that to me, and we are going to discuss it. I think I've been aching you off my chest for sweeps. If you think that I've managed to say, say so far as molten and irradiant, you're even more pathetic than I remembered. I'm not saying half as much as I could be, you disease ridden furnace but fuzzball. I think that minute amount of potential, minute amount of potential damage has been dealt in my turns of phase. We're not gonna go, go, gonna go off. Go off on what exactly? I mean, I guess everything I went off about earlier before I went off myself. This is like a very good strategic game plan to me, Taz. I thought you didn't dealing. I think. Uh, I think didn't deal in feelings. Besides, I've already laid everything that could possibly be laid out between us. Let's not open that box. This box again. I'm tired of the endless mechanism, ma masochism tango. More importantly, these papers are also included in things I've laid out between us. So how about you and I get back to business and not let pesky things such as deep-seated emotions throw us off the top of the maneuvering ball we're above acting a fool on? You probably next step. What? You probably have the next step. What is it? I have the next step. You're the one who's making all these off kilter connections in the first place, and you have the papers, not me. What is as a took chain reaction do you expect these things to set off inside your head? I don't know what we're supposed to be doing with them. Can I explain? I will skip this one. For certain reasons. Well, it's mostly to do with the stuff I mentioned having seen in the past, just in general. Also, your designer invoked some kind of emotion for me. Once this all started to happen, a subconscious connection or something, I don't know. I'm not going to burst into tears on this masterpiece, but it really earns it, though. Well, you ought to try and prove your theory on the, uh, Etchalizer. There's a tanker, sand ticker type of icon there for me. Could you do anything with that? I'll oh, check. Open Etchalizer. I can. If I just take a while, I guess, probably because it's not my turn to use it yet. Now, like I said in the tutorial, also, Etchalizer is got off the name for a device. So you just stitch two the words together in a vain attempt to make a cool and fucking new word for a weirdo puzzle. I like it to fall flat on his face because who would even want to say something like that out loud? I don't think I can even pronounce it in the first place. See? That game design. Let's press sand sticker. Sand ticker. I can't hear my phone remember what it's not. Talk about my uh, paranoia. I was like I could go mind that game design. You just give me a bunch of loops and pointy bits with numbers on, under them. So it looks exactly like this stuff penned on your like, stack of prophetic dream omens. I'm sure they're the same codes, but there's something. Well, I've only seen the ones in my dreams, but the way pieces of this absurd puzzle are straight on the line, I see why Murray would mention them if they were useless. I don't even have all of them in the first place. Either he gave us some numbers and they said the codes needed to be needed to be known going in. Oh, never mind, I'm not as many right now. What you need to do is figure out how to input them in what, in what order. Order. Or, uh, order. I'm starting to say things really weirdly. Hmm. Some number I put over here. What else is there? I should use the diagram itself to see if that some magic happens. Take the words right out. Take the words right out of my mouth. I didn't even have to say them. I'm starting to mumble now. So I try to locate a symbol under the diagram. So no, I'm actually impressed how this just fucking worked out like that. Fucking how? 
Good person for you specifically. So I'm just sitting on my ass over here right now. Just you sitting on your ass while I put the rest of these in. You make it sound like I'm, make it sound like I'm claim, claim about it. Sorry, let's click the green, green button. We are almost done. Oh fuck, there it goes. That's one down, I guess. That actually worked out. They tell took the code and marked it off at the side. One of those little circular slots. I thought I might be able to do something else with it. But for now, I should probably just finish putting the rest of them in. So I know I just said that I'd love to continue being plastered to the cushy bumps of my ass cocoon. Just, just to let you know, I need to gather all this information and share some deep, dark, hidden truths with you in the secret hope that some of it might actually be useful here. We've got the same kind of symbols in front of you, too, right? Maybe? I still haven't seen yours, but the number for the memo and the ones I don't cor I have don't correlate. I'm guessing these personal codes that we briefly mentioned. Which is kind of worrying, given the very specific cir circumstances of their acquisition. I think the entire peanut gallery has been strung together by their dreams in the same way that I have, though. Hopefully. I'll cross my fingers on as many as just a broken twist I can ma manage that they haven't. But I digress. I'm also going to keep my, my, my paper codes, too. It's, 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 it's kind of useless to me right now. Should I blindly flail them around in order to get the right angle on the creepy voyeur lens you're watching me through? Reading out, reading out loud. Try some intuitive dance. Try some intuitive dancing. Oh, pardon me. Probably not. All well, that sounds exceedingly stupid of you. So still a numerical input. Let me try and putting something in the thing and tell me what you get. Arctic input symbol. I do believe there's there's only a few pages left for now. Well, I'm putting it in the diagram and hitting the green button, because the hourglass function is still bunk for me. Try to symbol green. I think it means sand thingy. If I for a second in order to communicate something akin to, good job, I never retreated in the corridor like yours did. I guess now the chore lines and setting up the rest of the codes. Okay, perfect. I'll just working on putting the rest of mine in, so we can go ahead and do the same. Look at what happens next, once the next step is once that's done. I wish to defer your holy authority in the future, but I'm way ahead of you. This fucking one again. Okay, give me a second. Let me, um... We are not listening to that one. <laughs> They are pesky shuffles. Nice of them, me sister. Vine is over for a showdown, eh, Dila? <laughs> I probably cut that bit out. I don't think this is suitable music. <laughs> By the way, By the way, have you been doing any more thinking on what this all is accomplishing? Depends on what you mean. I'm not sure I know what I mean. I mean, I think I know what I mean, too. I've already mentioned it, but this all just feels so unreal. You've got extensive explanations and directions and clear Im immediate goals, but none of them add up and make any damn sense unless you've got some sort of insider information or something. You know, the smallest glimpse of knowledge we have so far only makes things more confusing. I think it seems to tailor to us specifically. I mean, to totally even that in plain terms. It's not telling. Arctic, I don't think. I act. Continue to mull over the cir in circles is pointless until we have a better information. It's not going to make this situation any better. So I'm trying to realize, rationalize the irrational. The way to get results is to stop talking to me and mumbling to yourself and do it. I've already told you this. So I just got done with all my code inputs, despite your claims of being ahead of me. That diatribe we shared just now set you back a couple of minutes, and we don't have the minutes to spare. I said I was handling it, and it's being handled. You're going to be making me feel like some sort of green-haired off fat elf show... Slowly swallowing towards this precipice of imminent doom. Hang on, I think there's more stuff to look at on my end now. You just need in the inventory. Wait, don't touch it yet. I'm almost ready. Do you have less slots than me? What's taking you so long? What's your problem this time? It's nothing, okay? Just don't worry about it. It's not like that stopped me before. Here, it's done. Alright, I just loaded up five more items for me. One of them is red. Yeah, great. So let's deploy the red box.
Wait, give me a second. I'm pretty sure that this, th this should have ended by now. Okay, my, my mistake. Apparently there's 310 pages in this part. I must have just got confused. Now, you're not even going to make the attempt. The entire thing is coated in red, which is obviously a visual signifier that clicking it will result in approximately jack dick. How does he have to remind people that you don't have to, you know nothing of two about video games? Let's go to the first item instead then. So you're gonna need a bit more room in order to use the thing. So go outside might be the best option. So what does the thing do? So we'll finalize this process, hopefully. Maybe. So we have insufficient space here for these items. One of them can't be used at all until we get everything else set up. So this might be the final bit. Oh, hold up, I got my up I got an update. Tell my inventory and I have got nothing new is there, so I ended up clicking on my similar inputs instead. Just see if anything new would happen. Lo and behold, I was granted the numeric input. Of course, this nothing can ever be that simple and straightforward. All but it's encrypted in some weird symbolic fa equivalent. So be forced to print out that, that garish cipher key that weren't made up against, against my will. Ugh. I just tap it open and wait for it to load. But I guess this game is just too important to let me do anything other than gaze at its flashy, ice shooting splendor. See if this yields any results real quick before we move up. Pardon me. Object print. What's the track art for this one? Oh. It's a dismiss one. Object. Attempt to input numeric code. Well, nope, nothing. He had an error message that said the pillars need to be calibrated and the gates piece is probably connected. If I can input the final codes. Kick on mine does nothing but bring back the list. So this task is on this task on you. Time to focus on it. We're gonna have to go outside to set the rest of this up. Do you have another chatter device? No. We're we'll to communicate beyond me having to hear you bitching out loud. If you just say anything important, you're gonna have to holler it at me. So just be our last conversation for a while. Are you relieved? No, I'm not. I think Eric would be given that benefit. Yeah, well, I was never a benefit to, be to begin with, was it? You used to think otherwise. Yeah, I did. After you ruined my life, I grew up. It's like you always wanted. You're really showing me otherwise. Your complete backwards swerve and attitude doesn't mean that you're more mature. You've changed in ways that matter. I can say ownership's my actions, but I'm not responsible for the way you handled your, your problems. I never have been. Now I'm done talking about us. You need to get whatever the fuck you need from your hive and get out of it. If I were you, I'd go ahead and take the papers with me, too. Okay, grab your scythe. Leaving that conversation without another word, you retrieve the one thing that you might need to take from your hive. You have no idea what might be in store next, and it never hurts to have a weapon to defend yourself with. If any situations find themselves getting a tad hairy down the line, line. This thing is actually useful in any material way. It's better to know how to swing it without falling on your ass and breaking your spine in the process. Scythe of the standard issue protective gear for all grubs on your planet. I need to precaution against the onslaught of dangerous creatures that inhabit each and every corner of it. It's not really help them in any way, but it has the equivalent motor skill to a freshly graduated tyke. Was well, just that counts somewhat. There's this song again. Some fucking shuffle. And you know what? Never mind. Most shots of most roles get get a weapon more befitting of their personality and martial prowess later in life. I never had a reason to use the thing in the first place. You think you're rather gifted set of circumstances to thank for that. Nevertheless, these current circumstances are the opposite of gifted, so you allocate it back to your strike specialist for the time being in recent memory. Right, inventory done. I just want to score the book inside the thermal hole. Oh. You can't leave this behind. Because such an ingrained habit to pretend it doesn't exist. At least that's what you tell yourself. It's always in the back of your mind, isn't it? Even after all these sweeps, just glad to get the cover is like twisting a hot knife inside your chest. These memories carefully tucked away in the book hound you. Secondly, your thoughts like birds of prey. Wait for you just for the right moment, to, just for the right moment to strike. And they always find you. You've been very good at letting go. Why did everything go so wrong? Okay, capture the book. Capture the book into your replica modus. Once captured, the modus will automatically generate a ghost image of the item in question inside the inventory. Two, two iterations of the object are linked. When retrieving the item, you can give just a real iteration of the phantom iteration. Phantom items tend to have more potent intended effects compared to its real version, when applicable. The workers of your modus are highly case-dependent on specific on the front. You also have the side effect of making the whole newly made phantom item rather fragile and or volatile once it's taken out of its card. So you basically have an infinite supply of code red, which is usually what you have stored inside, as long as you don't take out the real item. Phantom code red is pretty alright when it can doesn't explode. Not only spooky as the name makes it sound. Three pages left. Hey! And one last thing. What are you doing back here? I'm setting up the outside of your hive for, for what we have to do next. 
We need to get a fucking move on. I remember myself way too many times at this point. We don't have time for bullshit infighting on who's allowed to take home the grand trophy of standing champion of emotional damage. Your life's on the line, and I'm going to do doing a service by trying to save. Do was, do, I'm doing a you doing you a service by trying to save it. Maybe she doesn't want want to do this. Maybe she's still scared. These things still matter if you're dead. That's not why I'm. Do, that's not why I'm doing this. I don't have the time or whatever, but I've got no idea what's going to happen next. And neither do you. It's not the last time we ever hear from each other, so I want to say a final piece. And I actually had a contingency plan for that already to fire in the event of my in the event of my untimely demise. I think like my last words to pass on to you and everything. Of course, the whole situation ended up being just another red herring shoved into my craw before I swept into this aggressive, aggressive battle of wits. I'm so fiercely spun on, around by the, the same circle of the top as I'm pretty sure my body is about to gyrate out, out into the void. Never to return. The more little than I'd like, depending on what happens here. I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you jack from shit. How could you even talk down to me like that, you repressed walking filth? What could you possibly have to say to me that's so important? No. If I just hear that something else... If, any of, if anyone here owes me something else, and, and, so, so, if anyone owes something, someone, someone and else anything, it's you who owes me for even doing this in the first place. My blood pressure did not ring on simple kindness and goodwill. The reason I'm doing this is because my hand has been metaphysically shoved back into the mire of your simmering post-juvenile muck puddle. I don't want to have to have this conversation. I don't want any of this. But as it turns out, fate decided to drop us in a goddamn get-along platter. So I feel like all this is my fault. Yeah, but you should just want it. You just want it. I was getting the wrong impression from the quadrillion and, and a half unanswered messages you've been sending over the past two sweeps. Are you actually telling me you read those? Of course I did. I just ignored them. What point would it be in answering? I, mean, I never had any doubts with the outcome of any conversation we might have. We going, was going to have something like this. I didn't, want that to hap I didn't want that after what happened. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, well, what do we say to that? I didn't want to say to that. It is what it is at this point, Arctic. Don't you dare. Don't you dare fucking say that to me after your little taking responsibility for your own actions spiel. There's no claims of personal nature you can use to justify or, or change the fact that you're the one who made me the, way, made me the person that I am today. So you tell me something. If it is what it is, the one I'm still played by the constant malaise, day after day, still stuck wondering I have even meant... If I ever, ever even meant anything back then. If it is what it is, then how come I never... Whenever I look back, all I can see is how much better my life was back then. Before you took everything that gave it meaning and shut it down on the ground. None of this is what, none of this is what it is. It's not the life I wanted. It's the life you caused and the peace you left with. If it can be said to be anything, this this nightmare that I've been trapped in for sweeps. I didn't make you like this. You can't blame me for your own decisions. Their consequences and their fallout. You still don't understand that I did what I had to do. Because the only person you can blame for the state that you're in right now is you. Uh, the only person. You are responsible for yourself. So grow the fuck up. For real this time. You may have changed, but your world is still just as big as a fantasy it used to be. You only flipped your perspective on it upside down. You're not any less of an escapist fool than you were when we first met. So I guess we're exactly the same, aren't, then, aren't we? You're not any less of an impulsive, destructive asshole either. We are nothing alike. You only try to make it that way. You say that only makes me sure that I'm right. I'm very satisfied with having done an extremely poor job. I mean, this is not getting us anywhere. I'll put my point down to easy to digestible words. After whatever's about to happen... After rather, whatever's about to happen, happens, we should actually just leave this. We just stop talking to each other. We just stop acknowledging we even exist. We'll just be for the best. I'm sure you agree. Sounds fucking amazing. I'm not sure if your exit is going to be p possible, though. I have no clue how, what to expect from this game. But if it works out that way, then yes. By all means, stay away from me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's do this, then. I'm going out. Bye, Tezia. Fuck you! And with that... The boy was lost all fondness for the youth, walks his dividing line between apathy and desperation. The path he's about to walk mar marks the first step taken on the stage, where he and the people he rel relents push away and swept into a long journey, eventually to which they do not yet care to prepare for. He would try to end a tale built around his choices, a tale that will be told and retold again and again since the dawn of time, variations on the, the same theme. It's here that the protagonist of a final retelling will enter the spotlight, a curtain's call. S. Arcjack, enter. Yeah.
Hello. <laughs> the plain fucking Toontown. Town. <laughs> Oh my god, look at skinny, skinny leg art check. Oh no. So they're setting the pillars for the entry. To the medium. No. Oh. Hello. Who's that? Uh oh. What is going on with Albion? Cool running. That part's cool. Oh no. Uh oh. There was a um Hello, who are you? It's very funny how they fit those two parts perfectly. <laughs> oh, and he's about to enter. Hmm, that was a cool flash. There's a lot to digest there, but I'm not going to dissect it because I can't be bothered. And with that, we have reached the end of Act 1. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, obviously, because I'm tired. I feel like I'm reading longer than I thought I would, so... Thanks for watching. Subscribe, because I've been I've lost like four subscribers since I lost started... Um, Uploading Vastera slash November content. Sad. I'm guessing people just remembered that they were subscribed to me. I don't fucking know. But yeah, um... Bye-bye. See you next time.